All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect 1. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Let's, uh, let's work on sorting this place out. What is this? Oh, that's, that's, this is the entrance? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I'm reoriented now. We were told to talk to somebody down here in the medical bay. Let's see what's up with it. Mirror terminal. All right, hello, doctor. What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But I can help you. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. Yeah, I fixed her. And why does your voice sound incredibly familiar? We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. Alright, well I'm gonna need a little bit more information than that. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Yeah, you're damn right. I well, you're right and you're wrong, right? Because cause they will, like, if they want a weapon like this, they're going to work on it regardless. But it doesn't mean you have to help them. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Yeah, probably because he doesn't really understand. I can be pretty persuasive. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Okay, um... Investigate your team, your job. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Right, and when she got, down, got knocked out, she... He died. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. Irrational. Shit. Okay. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. All right. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Well, here's hoping I can help them. See if they can let me down in the quarantine area. The question is, who do I... I guess I could talk to the captain for access. Captain Ventralis! Hello, sir. I require your services. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. 
I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. That's You'll fine. run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. All right, um, I think I asked him all these questions I've earlier. I've got work to do. You and me both. I mean, plus, at the end of the day, I can always shoot past this guy. <laughs> According to everyone else, we're heavily armed. Alright, down we go. Alright, figured this was an elevator. Just in case we find any more wreck night down here. Oh look, it's the uh, <coughs> one scientist who survived. You came to find out about them, didn't you? I'm talking about the wreck night? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I do. Please tell me about them. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. That doesn't crazy. happen. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Okay, so again, continue with the Rachni. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. All right, never mind about that. You're a survivor. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Her who? Who? Doctors on Mua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once. Then they sliced her to pieces. Jesus. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Whatever you say. Oh, uh, Benezia. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. That that's all you got okay. Well I'll thank be leaving you. now. Yeah. Your information was mostly useless. What about you two? Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll yeah. You just have to. Okay. Let's go about making that cure first. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis' permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. What do you want? I didn't mean to Nothing. select you. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, right. Shut up. Stop being so fucking snarky. <laughs> Just a bed. Oh, here's the notes. Do I need to actually follow a process or? Oh shit. Okay, so it's just like a. And 
There we go. That wasn't Your mission simple. ends here, Shepard. Ambush. You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Alright, well, that took a turn fairly quick. We know what happened to the guard. He's probably dead. Um... Somebody's still alive. Oh, just one Geth. Oh, she's still alive. Not anymore, I guess. She was just stuck. Oh, my fucking. And it's just in the more. In the way of the door, even more. Jesus Christ. Come in. Looks like that Asari doctor killed the guard. Yeah, figured that out. Is everybody else down here a lot? Yeah, she left everybody else a lot. They came out of there. That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access, like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. All right, sweet. How can I get into the maintenance area? Oh, you just okay. Thank you. We can turn this cure into him, and then he'll give us access. Ventralis was? Yes. All right, Dr. Cohen. Here's your cure. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Yeah, I need to get into maintenance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough. That Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives. Do you know that? Got any metagel? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventralis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Okay. Well, excellent. We got our way in. And we've dealt with a few issues. Now all we gotta do is go back down. I get utterly murked by some Rachni and probably a few more Asari assassins. Or Geth. Just the myriad of enemies that want us dead. Yeah, 
and we're in. <coughs> Do I hear bubbling water? That's disgusting. It's freaking me out. The noise. Mostly. But when there's one, there's more, usually. Venezia. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. And you'd kill your daughter? I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict. Weird and, and and sort of strange <laughs> old games used to be. Cause that's just her signal for more enemies to come out. around a little bit. Strafe, serpentine, strafe, serpentine. weaker. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? 
I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Uh, why should I believe you? You might attack again, like the Asari on Pharos. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. You can it do that? not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him, you would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size and its power is extraordinary. Where'd it come from? Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. All right, and you're here for that. You have it. Give it to me. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Okay, shit. Found the Rachni Relay, Saren's plan. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the Mew Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. Of course you were. You were a pawn. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! Okay, boss fight incoming. That's gotta be terrible. Okay, maybe not boss fight. Just get knocked down. Oh no, oh god, oh god. Okay, boss fight it was. <laughs> Just wish I had grenades.
We got her. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... Stay here. We're just gonna leave her body there? Take it, we go back up this way? Nope, that's not anything. The console she was at, at least. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. I don't understand you. Uh, you, why aren't you dead? Identify yourself. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind, the children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. No, they would not. Holy shit. Okay, I get it. 
If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. Uh, your survival, your plans. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. Right, and what are your plans if we If release... I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Doesn't sound good. <coughs> so this way is to the hot labs and the science station. That's to the tram. Let's get to the tram. Check the journal. Deal with the hot labs. Hot labs. Yaroslav Tartakovsky? Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. 
Those orders? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. What about a male? Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. And the Ragni aren't listening. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Ragni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Can we help them? Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. I mean, I think we're okay, right? I don't know where there's any ammo at. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get nearer the start. <laughs> Shit! Okay. Got the key. Oh, this that was not where we came in at. So this way? I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verify, code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Oh shit. Thankfully, you got, oh, nope, never mind. We don't have that much time. Fire in the hole! Up, time to go. Oh my god. Look at that mini map. <laughs> Look at that mini map. Oh dear lord. Alright, 
Did everybody get ready for a fight? back to the station, but I'm just stuck <laughs> looking looking at the two of them. How you doing, Liara? Garrus? You alright? What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. <laughs> Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? Yes, I and did. And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? They won't. This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Sounds good. <sighs> okay. So let's go down and speak to Liara, see how she's doing. <sighs> Dr. Chakwas? If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Okay, well, that was quick. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Oh, thank you. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. <laughs> I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, we don't live for a thousand years. Well, we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Intimidating? Well, first of all, medical science has advanced quite a bit, so now we can live to 150. Right now, the human lifespan is like maybe uh, close to 100. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Well, I am trying. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. 
to understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Well, she recovered from that very quickly, and then it just took a, a weird and good turn. I forgot, have I ever stepped foot in... in the office? There's nothing really here. <laughs> I guess it's just a room to say I have a room. How you doing, Caden? Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. Oh, probably. <laughs> if they can wait, probably screw it. Yes, I'm too busy to talk. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Yeah, that usually what's happened. Uh, that's your training talking, smug. Hey, yeah, I'm not gonna be a racist. I don't know what he means by that's your training talking. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Understood. I mean, well, they are different. Turians have chitin instead of skin, but, you know, still. They're just the same. They think just the same. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. 
So you tried to help her. <laughs> I love how all of these are just positive affirmations. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. He threatened you. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Tyrion. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. So whose side are you on? What does that mean? Do you? <laughs> a reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Thank you. All right. That seems to happen sometimes, but um, when we return, we will talk to the rest of the crew and then I think see about whatever is going on on Earth's moon. So I thank so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Thank you.